Automatic lubrication systems are designed to increase productivity by reducing downtime for maintenance, extending the life of components, and reducing the overall cost related to point-to-point -point lubrication. Lincoln Industrial Systems are installed by our network of highly qualified equipment distributors and installers. If you are interested in protecting your equipment, contact one of our representatives today for more information on system surveys and installation. Today we are installing a progressive style automatic lubrication system on a Doosan wheel loader. The kit in this installation procedure was designed to be a complete bolt-on system using existing mounting and anchor points built into the machine by the equipment manufacturer. There is no welding or drilling of any kind required for this installation. Standard practice should be to use existing mounting points if possible so the system blends into the machine with the appearance it was installed from factory. However, this may not be possible for other wheel loader makes and models. Modifications such as welding on junction blocks, drilling and threading holes for mounting adapters and valves may be necessary. Consult with the equipment manufacturer prior to performing any permanent modifications. Prior to lubrication system installation, Clean any dirt or debris off machinery. Inspect and repair any damage to lubrication points and hardware mounting locations that may interfere with system layout and function. Pre-lubricate all lubrication points before removing hydraulic fittings. Performing these steps ensures for a smoother installation process. Begin by taking inventory of the components from the kit, ensuring everything is provided. If any components are missing, contact your Lincoln Industrial representative before proceeding with the installation. Position the boom arm and articulating joint so mounting locations are easily accessible. Once in position, secure the components for safety while moving around the machine. Remove any cover panels that might hinder the access to mounting and routing locations. Locate and mark all hardware mounting locations and lubrication points on the loader using the supplied system diagram. Identifying each lubrication point and component mount position beforehand sets up installation of the correct fittings at each lubrication point and feed line routing to the correct location on the machine. Remove each hydraulic lubrication fitting and install the appropriate adapter outlined in the manual diagrams. It is important to tighten and orient the fittings to match the supply and feed line path to the endpoint so hose and tubing are out of the way of moving parts. Next, if not supplied in the kit preformed, heavy duty tubing should be measured, formed, and installed using compression style fittings in high impact areas prior to installation of supply and feed lines. Using steel tubing ensures these lubricant supply runs are not compromised by potential damage and rough conditions these areas may endure during operation. Prepare the divider valves for installation. In some kits, these may include divider valves pre-assembled and marked for the different mounting locations. The supply and feed lines are cut to predetermined lengths for later fine tuning. Install the proximity sensor onto the divider valve configured for lubrication of the front frame components. Next, assemble the primary valve and front frame valve to form a compact valve set. Install the valve set adapter onto the predetermined mounting location in the front frame compartment. Valve set containing the primary valve and front frame designated valve can now be bolted to the adapter bracket. The rear frame secondary valve is mounted in the articulating area under the cab. And the last secondary valve is bolted to the underside of the bell crank. Using the markings on the feed lines, route and match each line to its respective lubrication point. Cut each line to length, leaving excess in locations where joint movement requires extra length to prevent line breakage. Install a hose and diff required and tighten onto the adapter of the lubrication point. If possible, use existing accessory mount locations pre-installed on the equipment to anchor line bundles and tubing. Be sure to keep the hose routing aesthetically pleasing to the eye and use hose wrapping to protect and contain multiple line runs. With the divider valves installed, prepare the pump assembly for installation. 
Remove one of the plugs and install the pumping element. Next, mount the pressure relief valve to the outlet of the pumping element. Remove a secondary closure plug and install the bulk fill nipple. Mount the pump assembly adapter and pump in an easily accessible and protected location. This wheel loader has threaded mounting holes already supplied by the OEM on the right side catwalk. The location is easily visible to the operator and accessible for refilling. Feed the main supply line and proximity switch wire through the chassis. Connect the main lubricant supply line to the pump element outlet. Next, connect the power and signal wires to the pump. The kit for our example machine provides a custom harness to connect the power and signal wires to a factory installed plug located inside the loader's chassis. For installs without an integrated plug, power must be pulled from a fuse panel using an add-a-fuse connector, and wires for the in cap switch run to the switch panel. Last item to install is the switch in the cab. This will allow the operator to run an additional lubrication cycle if extra lubrication is required outside the preset cycle times, and monitor for any faults. The button lights up during cycles and flashes if a fault is detected. It is now time to bleed the system. Using an electric handheld grease gun or bulk dispenser, connect to the added hydraulic fitting on the inlet to the primary valve and dispense into the valve. This will cycle the primary valve and move lubricant throughout to prime the system. Dispense lubricant until the secondary valves begin to cycle, indicated by the movement of the visual indicator pins on the valves, and you see lubricant flow out the main bucket pins. Inspect the remaining secondary valves and lubrication points for any leaks or line issues. Power up the pump and run a couple manual test cycles to ensure pump assembly is dispensing lubricant and cycling the system. You can check this by viewing the light on the proximity switch. As long as it is turning on and off, signals the primary valve is cycling lubricant through the system. Final step is to finish tidying up any bundles of supply lines and reinstalling any panels that may have been removed. With the system install complete, machine is ready for service protected by a Lincoln Industrial Automatic Lubrication System.